Good morning. Buenos días. Hola. ¿Cómo están? Wow. Are you learning Spanish? Okay, let me hear the numbers. Uno, dos, tres. Wow. Yes, muy bien. That's good. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome to the Performing Arts Series brought to you by the Kennedy Center and Prince William's Network. Uh, we are Andes Manta, and we are here four brothers and our friend. We are playing together for around 16 years, so we introduce ourselves with and what they play. Hi, my name is Bolivar, and I play the wind instruments and some of the drums. Imanaja Takangichi. Nasin Mikani, and I'm going to play the percussion instruments and the tiny flutes. Mi nombre es Fernando, and I most play all the string instruments and wind instruments. Hola, mi nombre es Jorge, and I play the string and wind instruments. Hi, my name is Luis Lopez, and I play mostly the wind instruments. And we come all the way from uh, South America, from the Andes. Do you know what the Andes are? No? Mountains, yeah. There's a huge chain of mountains across many countries from Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, all the way down. There's a huge chain of mountains and volcanoes. And all around the mountains, we have different villages. And we come from Ecuador. Ecuador is a little small country where we have also the mountains, the Andes. And other region we have is the, uh, when you go down from the mountains, you end up in other place. And this will be the, I see we have here one of the highest mountains, Cotopaxi, and then you end up in the biggest uh, 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 tropical rainforest, I think, where it was a very rich and uh, all the natural wildlife sounds, a beautiful place. Or you go to the other side is the coast, and the coast with beautiful beaches and uh, everything nice. Also, you can go to other place, other region of Ecuador is the Galapagos Island. So in a small country, you can enjoy different places. And from all around, we have different kinds of music, different instruments. But what we play today is a big family of flutes, pimpers, drums, everything that we gather from, not just from Ecuador, Bolivia, Peru, Chile. Uh, so we're going to travel with music uh, to all these places. So we hope you enjoy the program. And the next melody is called Paramos. That, name, that means uh, the highlands of the Andes.
Thank you. Well, for the next melody, we're going to go from down to the mountains. We end up with the, one of the largest uh, tropical rainforest. Do you know the name? Yeah, the Amazon, yeah. If you have a chance to go to the Amazon, you'll be surrounded by these beautiful sounds of wildlife. We have all kinds of birds, monkeys, waterfalls. And we bring it to you. And for that, we're using to do all these sounds, different instruments. We have all kinds of little whistles. And one of the tiniest instruments, this is called ocarina, one of the smallest flute, as you can see here. Can you see it back there? Yeah? <laughs> Well, now you're gonna hear this instrument has just three holes. Uh, you can play music just like this. Or sometimes you imitate sounds of birds. And what you do is you just, what we do is we play just with your tongue and just or tick, 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 and, and you create all these sounds like this. And they come in different sizes. We have bigger ocarinas here. And some of them, they have some design, so deeper sound. And then uh, Bolivar makes some of these different whistles and uh, wind color with uh, bamboo. So you do the sound of wind, just like this. And some of the other whistles, and some of them we have to put water so you can get a whistling sounds of birds. And it sounds like this. Also, we want to use some of the instruments, uh, the family of rain sticks. Probably you're familiar with this instrument. This is made out of bamboo. Uh, we clear inside the bamboo so it's hollow. And what we do is we put little stones inside the bamboo. And through the bamboo, we put a lot of sticks from the top all the way to the bottom. So we, we go like this, all the stones come hitting the sticks, and that's what creates the sound. And some other ones made out of cactus, just like that one right there. But naturally, this instrument, uh, you can find uh, in some places in the trees, insects eat inside the branch of the tree. And when they die inside the branch, you can hear the sound of the insects. That's the rain stick. Uh, so for the next melody, uh, we want to use all these instruments. Uh, we want to make you feel like you're in the rainforest. So if you want, you can close your eyes and try to imagine all, when you listen all the sounds, what kind of animals we want to use, uh, what kind of sounds of nature. This is called Kausai Pacha, that's in our native language, it's called Quichua, and that means preserving nature.
Thank you. Well, I want to share some of the other instruments that was an influence from Europe. When they came to the Andes for around 500 years ago, they introduced different string instruments like violins, mandolins, and different music. So the native people in the Andes started using all these uh, native flutes, drums, and with the, also with the influence of the guitars. And also, they started making their own. So we have this one coming from Ecuador, it's called bandolin. It has 15 strings. And then a bigger instrument, a metal strings called tiple, comes from Colombia, 12 strings. A similar like a bandolin sound, uh, but they use for different rhythms. And one of the smallest guitar called charango. For a small size, it has a very loud sound. It has 10 strings. Uh, most of the time, you have to grow fingernails to play because you have to go very fast. <laughs> Originally, this instrument is made out of wood, and people used to look for the uh, shells of a little animal, the armadillo. 
Um, so they get a shell, just like a turtle, they have a shell, and they put in the back because it has the right shape. But today they use just wood and they carve in the wood like mountains or people, like here, for example, there's a person playing uh, pen pipes. And uh, this is the charango. Also, the next melody, we want to use this uh, bandolin and one of the instruments called rondador. It's a pen pipe that is, is played in harmony, so you have to blow two pipes at the same time, just like this. Originally, this instrument was made with the feathers of the big bird of the Andes, el condor. Well, it's a big bird. When they open the wings, it's around 10 feet long. So it's huge birds. And people used to go up to the mountains and look for the feathers. And feathers are hollow, so they make this instrument in a smaller size. And this is the instrument that's played in this rhythm. Uh, the rhythm that we're going to do, we play before and after harvest festivities, uh, harvest time, to give thanks to Earth for the good harvesting. So everyone gets together. Um, we have dancers who come with the colorful customs, and they dance this rhythm. This is called Pueblo de Colores.
Ya me voy para la montaña, llevo en mi mochila a fe y carrera, de mi corazón a mi cadera, mi mochila a fe y carrera, de mi corazón a mi cadera. Yo también mi tamborcito para entonar, cumbia y merengue. Llevo también mi tamborcito para entonar, cumbia y merengue. Alumbra, luna, alumbra, luna, 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 que ya me voy para la montaña. Alumbra, luna, 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 que ya me voy. Thank you. Very good. Un aplauso. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Well, now we have a few minutes if you have uh, any questions, so we're ready to answer some questions. So go ahead. Yeah. How, do you get, how do you get the instruments to imitate the sounds of, of nature? Okay. Uh, well, it's different. You can be creative and get any any things from around the uh, rainforest, like the shakers. Also, we use the whistles, and as I said, he can use the, to do the wind, you just blow soft any pen pipe. For example, I get a flute, and I just blow in any hole, I can do the wind sound. And for the whistles, you just blow softly and you play with your turn around, do the bird sounds. So when we mix a lot of them, you create these beautiful sounds. Okay, another question? Which is the hardest instrument to play? Well, the hardest instrument to play probably, uh, probably the kena, just to get the sound. And after that, you get the sound, you can get the, your fingering, but it's, it's hard to get the sound of the kena. And the charango, the little guitar. Okay, we have uh, an email, okay, and it says, do you make all your instruments? Yeah, we make most of the flutes, pen pipes, and drums. Well, we don't make the, uh, the guitars, yeah. Okay, another question here. How long does it take to make a wind instrument? A wind instrument? A little pen pipe like this, you just try the bamboo kind, different size. It takes me probably like a um, couple hours 
I have this instrument. And there's the make that we bring in different schools. With, we bring with a lot of bamboo so kids can make, just like you, and teach them a uh, very short melody. <laughs> and the uh, big pen pipe is probably going to take a couple of days because when you tune, you have to blow all the time and you get dizzy and take a break. Uh, so you have to glue two or three pieces together to get the right size of the toyos, which is the long pen pipes. Okay? Okay, we have another email. Do you have any CDs? Yeah, we have two recordings, and uh, we don't have the stores, but uh, all the recordings that we have, we play the, what we just hear, uh, the rainforest and all the melodies. Uh, you can contact at the uh, our address, email address to Andes Manta. Okay, here. What special care do you give to your instruments? Care? Yeah, well, sometimes it's very hard to, we have to wrap them very nicely for trips because sometimes we go to, cold weather, or sometimes to very hot weather, and they, we have problems with the instruments. For example, we have some of the, some of these pen pipes, when we went to, for example, Florida, and they, we went to Alaska, where it's very cold, and we went in winter time, so the, the instruments, they get crazy, and they, sometimes they break, so you have to fix sometimes you see with tape sometimes, like this, until we go home and uh, change the, with the uh, good bamboo. Okay. Okay, another email. How do you tune the wind instruments? Well, the tuning of the flutes. So I get a big piece of bamboo, like this. And what you do is just blow. And I, I used to tune just by ear with a melody, but now I use a tuner or the piano. And so what you do is uh, use a very sharp knife and cut it until I get the right note. And then you sandpaper to make nice and smooth. And they get another piece, shorter piece. So see, higher note. When I have all the notes to a tune, I just put together. And I have the instrument, OK? Here. Was the music taught to you in, in your schools, or did you learn it from your families? Well, in the schools, in the schools we have uh, just uh, like uh, classical music or or theory, story, history of music, but they don't teach much of this uh, music, of these instruments. So we learn in the villages and the festivities. So our parents used to take us to different festivities all around the ends. We had different celebrations, and the music is there with the, the all kinds of instruments. So we learn just by ear all this music. Okay, we have another one there. How do you compose your music? Sometimes we relate with uh, environments like in the, for example, the Amazon that was, we were inspired by the, the rainforest, the song that we play, and also the mountains and the people, the villages and the festivities. That's how we compose our music, that's our inspiration and people. Yeah. How long did it take you to re memorize your notes? To memorize the, the music? Yeah, well, uh, every year, in different festivities, you can hear the sounds all the time. So you improvise. When you part of the festival, you just improvise with your instruments. So, and, and every year, when, when we were little kids, probably 10, 11 years old, we start playing the music. So from we, all this year, probably you, we know over 100 melodies, and we just, when we get together, we try to remember and, and just the music just coming. Yeah. OK, here. In what other countries have you performed? Well, mostly uh, some of us, we were in, uh, in Europe, and uh, mostly here in the United States. We've been in all the states, so the last state we didn't know was Alaska, and we went just last year. Uh, so we were in all, all around the schools and the theaters and festivals. Yeah. Okay, we have another email. How do you play two instruments at the same time? Well, some of the, the easy way to learn is just with a drum, It's very traditional to play a uh, pan pipe and drum or flute and a drum. So it takes a lot of practice. So we, you have to do in the beginning is just practice the, the drum with another percussion instrument. We just go like this, same beat. When you got that, and then you have to do different, the chak cha different and this different, so you go like this. And that'll be the same with the pen pipe, so it takes a lot of practice to play two instruments at the same time. Okay? Can we have another question here? 
Where in Ecuador are each of you from? Well, we come from, uh, how about, uh, most of us, we come from Quito. Quito is the capital of Ecuador, and this is in the uh, center of the Earth. That's the equator. So when you go there in Quito, you can step in North Hemisphere on one foot, and the other South Hemisphere on the other foot. So we're in the center, that's Quito. And it's very, the weather there is like very uh, stable from 55 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit all year. So we have just rainy seasons and dry seasons. And Nassim, he comes from Otavalo, which is a little village where you can find a lot of these clothing and instruments. Uh, it's, it's a Quechua town, okay? Here. When did each of you begin playing an instrument? When we, okay, uh, we play, I started when I was probably 10, 11, and my first instrument was the uh, percussion instruments, and then I started making my little pen pipes, and then Fernando, do you talk us? Yo empecé a tocar las cuerdas, la guitarra, y después el charango. Yeah, he started playing first the string instrument and the guitar, so each one has different uh, times. Yeah, I have, I think, I started when I was 14 or 15, I think. I probably learned uh, the, the, to play the instruments around 14 years old, maybe. I learned the bombo when I was around five years old. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, how long have been performing? Okay. We were performing for around probably 16 years, but in, in high school also we have another group, so we play for around 25 years, but the group ourselves here, 16 years playing the music. Here, another question. Do you have an instrument that sounds like a frog? Like a frog? Yeah, we have an instrument that sounds like a frog. <laughs> and looks like a frog too, here. This is made out of wood, they come in different size. Okay. Yeah. Do each of you have a favorite piece? Uh, well, I, 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 I think I have many different pieces, but probably the rainforest sound is my favorite. Okay. Okay, we have another email. How long is the big pen pipes? Let's see. Pressame, pressame. Sometimes like five, uh, five, eight, five, seven. You can get like six feet, but we are not too tall, so that's the only size we can. <laughs> you can put bigger ones too. <laughs> yeah. And big longs, yeah. Okay. Another question here? Yeah. Have you ever made a CD before? Yeah, we, we did before to, to record. We have two CDs, yeah. Okay. All right, so I think uh, we finished with uh, questions because we're running out of time. So I would like to thank the students in the auditorium for being with us today. Uh, I would especially like to thank to the viewing audience from across the country for tuning to the program. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to ask questions today, uh, you may contact us by using the email address on the screen. We'd love to hear from you and answer your questions. And uh, we would like uh, also you to visit uh, the Kennedy Center website at the address on the screen. There you will find additional information about this program and the Kennedy Center's upcoming programs, as well as other resources on integrating the arts into the classroom. Please remember, our next uh, Kennedy Center program will be on Friday, February 13, from 11 to 12 noon Eastern, when Bobby Sanabria and the quartet will be performing uh, and demonstrating unique uh, Afro-Cuban sounds. We hope you join us. Thank you for being with us. And now, as we leave you, we will finish with this uh, melody where we include most of the instruments, the pen, pipes, flutes, and uh, also one of the largest flute. This is called mox, um, uh, bocina. 
Bocina is a big piece of bamboo with a horn in the end. So what you do is you blow like a trumpet. It has a very loud sound. And then we have another one. This is called pututo. It's just a cone shell. People used to go to the top of the mountain and blow these instruments, and the sound goes across the mountains. And we do this to gather people for the festivities or for meetings, also for to uh, the beginning to play the beginning of melodies. And this is the song that we do in one of the biggest festivals called Inti Raimi, the solstice festivities. So when musicians hear these instruments, the shells, everyone from across the mountains, they come dancing and playing flutes, pen, pipes, drums, a mix of sounds. And this is how it sounds. This is called Ancestors. <laughs> 